This thing on. Well, I don't know how to tell you this, but uh, I don't have any time for doing any gardening videos again today. I gotta get busy building a woodshed. Yep. Well, hello there, good people. Jason here with Green Country Agroforestry. In order to properly appreciate today's video, one must first be familiar with the principles of redneck engineering. Principle number one, if you need something to stay put, use a T-post. Principle number two, if you've got something you need to keep in or keep out, use a cattle panel. Unless the things that you need to keep in are kind of small, in which case, use some poultry netting. Principle number three, any two objects can be bound together with a combination of bailing wire and duct tape. Principle number four, shade cloth is nice, but if you want to keep something dry, you got to put a tarp on it. And finally, there's principle number five, there is no such thing as trash, just resources that we haven't found a use for yet. Seven cattle panels, 24 cement blocks, some wooden pallets, and T posts. Now, as is common in all redneck projects, we have, we have made some design alterations in the course <laughs> of the build. And I've decided that up here is just a little bit too high and too unstable. So we're gonna bring this down just a notch to right here. If we bring it down a notch to right here, it's still well above my head whenever I walk in, and it'll be above my head in the entire area that I intend to be walking. See, this will be our walking path right here. And the area over here on this side are the pallets where we'll be stacking the firewood. So I need a place where I can walk and a place where I can stack the firewood. Low side, that's the firewood. High side, where I travel, that's the walkway. Seems simple enough, but we do need to lower this down just a touch. Meanwhile, we did some measurements, Mary and I did earlier this morning, Pardon me. and we went from the peak up there down to here, and kind of got an idea of where the eaves would be. We have eaves on this side, if it was the normal height, and then if it was lowered with a six foot space in between. And we determined that we would need to trim a bit off of each of the roof panels. So while I'm up the ladder, trimming the tops off of these, Mary is gonna be down here on the ground, trimming five pieces for the roof panels. It's a good thing we got two sets of bolt cutters. All right, so Mary's gonna be doing these ones. <laughs> All right, so I had a little half piece of this two by two, a lovely little spider on these over here on this side. I need to anchor this someplace. I can't drive a T-post into the ground here. So 
here's what we're going to do. We take, how many is this? Six? Yes, it is. Six CMET blocks. Stack them in and put my piece of two by two right here in between them. It'll hold them in place. Now, this thing is going to wobble back and forth. We can't be having that. So what we're going to do is move these blocks out of the way for just a moment here. So we can get down to the base of it. Come on around. Look at down here. So uh -huh. this is the slot that it's going into that can slide back and forth and back and forth. That just won't do. Also, we don't want the cut end down here to get contact with water and rot away, do we? No, we don't. So we have some of that spare gravel and rotten material from over there where we just rehabilitated that front yard garden. Well, if you need a piece of broken glass, we'll just throw that on there. Yeah. We could just drop that on in there. The water will drain away from that. No problem at all. Mm. And our piece is going to stand up, up off of it. Okay. Snuggle these two stones up together like that. Looks very excited. Kind of to keep this, keep this from leaning. We don't want to lean it back, do we? Of course not. Yeehaw. Yeehaw. Throw a few chunks down in there. Mm -hmm. We intend to throw some chunks down there. That's, that, that's a bit bigger of a chunk than I'm used to. There we go. Funny thing about chunk. Did you ever hear that kid said, uh, sits, who flung the chunk? N no. No? Uh-oh. How about since Hector was a pup? You ever hear that story? Since um. Hector was a pup? No. I known him since Hector was a pup. No. How long you been living out here? You ain't heard that. Okay. Ain't heard that yet. Okay. Um, see, that's two different measurements of time. You wouldn't know it because you know it's so obscure. It's two different measurements of time. We have since Hector was a pup. That's a certain period of time. And from who flung the chunk? What? It's another measurement of time. <laughs> You see, way back when, a bunch of folks got into a, some sort of a tussle, right? You know how it goes. Somebody threw the chunk, somebody got hit. That's how it all got started. Chunk. And if you've known somebody since who flung the chunk, that means you know them from the very beginning. Whenever it all got started. It's basically saying, I've known them my entire life. Okay. Now. Hector may have been a pup once upon a time, but that was not my entire life if I've lived long enough. So if I've known him since Hector was a pup, that means a good long while, but not right. since the very beginning. I you understand. Okay. Let me write that down. Sliding around there for a minute. Okay. Can I help? No, you want any thumbs? Put my build there. Put my build there. Okay. There we go. Yeah. I don't know how I'm going to do this. Probably from the outside. The idea is we're going to use one piece of wire tie tie both things together. I want them to come together about midway, like they are now. How are you going to keep all these pokey parts from like rubbing on your tarps? There's a magic material manufactured by 3M. It's called duct tape. Okay, really? Yes. How about yeah. old hose? You can use old hose. You can secure it with duct tape. Oh yeah. yeah, if your tape tries to fold up on you in one spot, that's fine. You're trying to make a ball anyway. All right, so we're just gonna we're just gonna make a ball here, right there, all around our 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 gnarly end. And we'll pass the tape up and around, and back around. 
and that way when the tarp makes contact with this surface here it won't damage the tarp Item number three, if it needs to be kept dry, cover it with a tarp. All right, so this tarp here is, um, oh shoot, oh hi, hey, <laughs> when did you get in there? <laughs> um, so this is a six by eight tarp. We know that this space here, because we moved it off ahead of time, is gonna be six foot wide. And this at its highest point is going to be a little under eight foot. So eight foot is going to be a little bit too long. We need some place to hang the excess. I think it's going to hang more like, like that. Yeah. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to have to pass this through to you. Let me just take it and make sure that your side goes in there. We gotta talk to the riders. We gotta get better material. I heard that strike. <laughs> I would explain it. No, well Biden will call off all the strikes, don't Wait, worry. It's it's the girl that makes the coffee that's doing the writing this week, isn't it? Have you tasted her coffee? Uh, yeah. She said she couldn't find the regular scoop. I'm like, which what, what did you use? She held up a a big spoon, like, like a witch's cauldron spoon. <laughs> it's the smart, it's the biggest one I could find. Well, the office guy said they liked it strong. I said I had extra scoop, just so I could find a scoop with. I'm like, oh dear, where'd the regular scooper go? Does it look like an office to you? Hmm. How about putting another house out here? Huh? How about putting another house out here? Oh yeah. Composting toilet right there. Mary's trying to get me to put it back over here. No, it's too small. But I think, I think over here is a good place to pull a compost and pull it. Did you get long enough for Ain't got no roof on it. Huh? This is what I was going to do in the first place. Well, okay then. Well, all right, good people. We got one more tarp to put over this roof. And our woodshed has got to be ready. To go. We hope. <laughs> That's all I've got for you today, good people. I hope you found the video informative or entertaining, maybe a little bit of both. And if you didn't, you know what to do. <laughs> Until then, get out there and get redneck. <laughs>